Welcome guys, it's time to play an, an arena again because I have all these daily quests and two of them are hunter and the arena gives me a hunter quest, a uh, hunter pick, so go with hunter. It's also good because my voice is still a little bit, like my, my throat is still sore, so it's good because hunter provides faster games usually. So let's try it. Out of these, a 33 mic or a viola teacher? Well, if this has some value, um, some max energy later, it will be pretty good. Otherwise, it's just a 33 mic, which is also okay. Viola teacher might also be good. Um, well, let's go with the leader. It's more fun, I guess. Uh, mechanical lady. Yeah, why not? Works well. Um, out of these, um, it's either a houndmaster or a multi shot. Don't want to end up with too many multi shots, so it's, uh, but it's good removal. So <laughs> I think I go houndmaster. Just hope that I pick up some good beasts out of these. Master. Um, snipe could be useful. Let's uh, do the other things. I think I go gnomish. Not to play it as a four, but to play it a little bit later. Animal companion. Life Zuka, of course. Especially over the other two. Uh, that's an interesting one. Having one unleash is pretty good. Um, Rustle Mental is a nice light game card. Webspring is also nice to start with. It's also a beast. Okay. Mad Bomber, so two. Over a cane shot, yep. Matter Bomber or Arjun Commander? I think Commander. It's a little bit more reliable. Uh, this one, of course. Tiger is also a beast, which is good. Um. One, two, three things to play on two, one to play on one so far. Um, so I'm kinda good with my early game drops. So I will go for the second Houndmaster because I have some beasts for now. Could pick up the owl because it's a beast. <laughs> and silence is good. Um, Booty Bay Bodyguard though. So that's good enough. I don't have, like, I have this death rattle, I guess. Nothing more. Um, I think I go Al. And explosive shot. Earthen? Don't have too many three drops so far. Earthen is good. Yep. Don't want champion. Also pretty nice. Uh, I think I don't want to get my guy silenced. No, oh, not really. Uh, M Master is good. Works well with Glaive Zucker and Stoneman Champion as well. It's like Animal Companion, nice. Matter Bomber over Flare. Ooze or Hunter's Mark. Well, now I'm kind of low on my true slot. And Ooze is top tier. Uh, Deadly Shot is good removal. Probably better than the Hunter's Mark. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I could use some light games. I can just my champion. It's probably better than a Frostwolf Warlord. Is it? I have just two things to play on five. Um, don't have that much sticky stuff though. So Warlord might not actually work. Champion is better, I guess. Third animal companion, of course. Snipe. I need something to play early. Um, okay. Oh man, Savannah Hyman, of course. Um, Unleash? Ship's Cannon? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Whereas the Owl doesn't really count. Um, having one Unleash is pretty good though. Especially with three animal companions, one of them could be Leog with two so much him. Yeah, I should pick one only. Be a little bit more versatile here. And with Dark Eindorfs works well too. 
I uh, think I don't want to pick up a third summon champion. Kinda clunky. One, two, three, four, five, and three of them are more situational, so getting another Dark Iron in is pretty good. Um, I could need something that protects me, actually. I don't have any taunts so far, so Fan Creeper should be better. Although, this is a beast, I have two Houndmasters. <sighs> don't have any kill commands though, so Tiger gets a little bit worse. Well, I guess I can afford the Tiger. Although I would like... Eh, uh, Sun Fury Protector can protect me. It's a protector, after all. Um, also provides the best body. Yep. Okay, so I'll just import this deck. Um, set up the deck list. A lot of duplicates here, but of good cards, so overall... Um, I think I'm satisfied with this deck. Um, has a good about amount of beast energy. Um, I think a good curve also. To okay, okay. Here's here's that list for you. Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven things to play early. One, two, three, four, five, six, three drops, and some removal and yeah, some AOE. One, two, three, four, five, six, and here's some removal, and here's some enforcement, and here's some enforcement. And a good late game. And a high man too. So I guess I can play a good tempo game here. Um, I'll have a hard time if I draw into my weaklings altogether, like no one and two drop, and then into, like, I don't know. Unleash Imp Master Stormwind Champion or something. But I think the deck has overall good synergy with two Dark Iron Doors and an Imp Master or Unleash and Stormwind Rexa. Champion. So I think overall the Rexa. cards can work well together but are of Begin. decent quality anyways. I think I don't want the Gnomish as 4. This as 4 is kinda unreliable even though I can play as a Three, but I kind of want to pick up more early stuff. Yeah, that's better. It's like I can coin a Brewmaster into Sun Fury. Well, I would like to play this as three, I guess. But I have a good curve. One, two, three, four. Should use it. card like Imp Master could be good as 3-2, so I can use this on an Imp. Seems good overall. So I just have to remember that I have zero taunts after playing the Sun Fury Protector. But I have some removal, the Deadly Shot, the Explosive Shot, and... Um, speaking of which, I think that's it. Well, I'll snipe to some extent. Would have liked to pick up a uh, mad scientist with it, but I guess it's fine. It messed us pretty good on this board now. It's protected behind a taunt, and okay. Hmm. Might even get value in case this is snipe. If this is freezing, I rather want this to be frozen, I guess. If this is explosive, then I will have a 2-1, so I want to play this before. If this is snipe, I want to play this. Okay. I got this. Because it survives and leaves behind a 1-1 one, one imp at least that I can... Okay. I got this. Okay, it's explosive. Playing this um, over the earthen also makes a possible multi-shot a lot worse. I hope you like my invention. Oh, freebie.
Metal Tooth Leaper. I think I just had the mechanical ID in here as a mag. I think nothing else. I uh, would like to use the earthen. The question is on what. I can bring this out of uh, range of a second explosive trap and I can make this. Well, that's just the one point here. Uh, two if I use it here. To produce more imps. But that's not a. That might not be a good thing against something like Unleash. <laughs> Let the dark in. I don't want to use the dark iron because it provides so much value with these tokens. Just have to think about explosive shot. <laughs> Giving you the score, also, of course. Is of course quite good on this board. Mm, I guess I will just play a dark iron for the body then. I got this. Well, the leaper is not. Even worse, and I can get two damage. Okay. I hope this works out. If you play something too big, I have the deadly shot anyways. Five health can be dealt with uh, dark iron doors or explosive shots even. And this is two damage also to the face. So I just miss one damage the next turn. Okay. Well, he could have killed this one. This trade would have been better, of course. But, huh. Argent Commander. I think I don't need the fast card right now. Uh, this way. None of my animal companions showed up so far. Ton. I have 7, 9, 11. Or make it 13. They have to kill something. Hmm. Dream is to place a tension here. Is this a dream? Hi, Owl. I think I don't have lethal, right? By silence I could play this, but it's still just 11. If I... S I wonder... I think I'll just do it this way. Deny him a card, kill two guys. I have a better board. It should be okay. Should be able to kill everything that he throws on the board. Like, even if it was a taunted up Hyman. Ah, anti kill bot might have Well played. Well Not really. Anti kill bot wouldn't have helped 
that much. Rexa versus Rexa. Another hunter. Let the hunt begin. I will hunt you down. Well, it's not a scary 2-3-4, two, uh, two, but going first with a 2-3-4. It's like, I could fish for a web spinner or for a Glefzuka. That's probably too picky. If some of my guys stay around, like if I play this and he coins out a Yeti or something, then the Dark Iron has super value. And a five. <clears throat> so it seems pretty straightforward from here. Again, the Sun Fury is not optimal because it's like my only taunt in the deck. The Tempo and Vanish should be worth more. And I don't have that many two drops that I can consistently draw into them. Otherwise I would have had to like um, get rid of all of them all of my cards and fish for an entire new hand. This. That's also wasted. I really hope he coins out, I don't know, maybe a Nullifier. Nullifier would be awesome. Okay, it's a Yeti, but like I said, got value. Um, I could Glefzuka. The problem with Glefzuka is um, I, uh, the only thing I can do with it is hero power. Hmm. Armor plating might be helpful, but not for now, it seems like. Still not a great turn for him, obviously. Tiger! It's interesting that I don't draw into cards like Houndmaster and Animal Companion that I have so many of. Speaking of animal. Oh, ow! That's good for him. Well, Huffa would have killed it too. And would have buffed the hyena. So I guess it's not the preferred outcome. Oh, speaking of Houndmaster. Um, Houndmaster Glefzuka seems awesome right now. Leaves this a 7-5. So it dies to explosive shot, but this doesn't. I'm replying. Do I want this specifically on the tiger? Hmm. Mm, not really. Got on the tiger anyway. Leaving the beast up is like. It also buffs chargers and hounds. And you could just kill command the tiger. So I thought trading was better in this regard. I have to get something in the middle for an explosive shot of it right here. Probably a tiger. <laughs> okay, so I could clear this. I could even clear it with Glefzuka too. Like, how much damage do I have actually? It's 12, 14, 16. Wow, that's a lot. There? There. Seems good. And in case of kill command, so he cannot kill 
this for free. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Armor plating wasted. Locked and loaded. Thousand. Okay. I thought about Mad Mad Bomber, but uh, the egg kind of prevented that. Um. So it's six, eight, ten. Put him down to twelve. Put him down to ten. I think getting the random beast here isn't bad at all. So I'll just. No, getting the random beast isn't bad at all. Um, so that's eight next turn, which means seven, nine, eleven, nineteen. Hmm. I'll still clear this though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh, he has a web spinner too. Should be cautious, could give a king crush. I guess it's lethal now. Uh, king crush is the secure lethal. That's 9, that's 11. So Leok does it, Huffer does it. Uh, yeah. Crush finish! Life Zuka on the opening hand is pretty good. Um, without something on the board, it leaves. Like, it's just a worse fiery war eggs. But, uh, we will see what he plays. Um, Animal Companion into Houndmaster is also quite a good combination of cards. Um, so the question is do we want to equip the Glyph Zucker? Um, I have it for the next turn. Which is good, in case he plays, I don't know, anything. <laughs> uh, otherwise he might not play a two health guy, but mm -hmm. my next turn seems pretty much given. So I'll just... It lacks the additional effect, but with these cards I think I don't know, need them anyways. Uh, Creeper is a pretty good response. To my time. Ah, Leog. Well, it's a 4-6 taunt next turn. So, kind of okay. So when would I have played it? That's the question. And I will... Oh no. Uh, all my 4 drops are... useless right now. Super sword. Huh. Do I play this into the sword? Oh, that's painful. That's too, but I need the Dark Iron Dwarves. Uh, I can play Tiger into Houndmaster. And this is probably, like, turn 6 is probably the turn where I w would have played the Glyphsuka then. Can't really tell. 
forward. <laughs> so now this is a 7-7 seven, seven and also dies to the sword. Or maybe animal companion. Okay, so I play this 7-7, seven, seven, goes into that, it's a 7-5, gets hit, gets hit, this is a 4-5, runs into that, here's a 4, this is a 4-1, I can hit it with a Glyphzooka, 2-1-1's um, one, here, took a little bit of damage there, oh. Well, it's probably still the best play. I'll just remove this to improve my board. And having a board, like, it makes the trade here more awkward in case he doesn't have Consecration. And if I have these two on the board, the Stoneman Champion is a lot better. Also the animal companion, okay. My my hand gets a lot better with the board. That's what I want to say. And makes the trade awkward here. I think that's good for me. Although I would have preferred the owl to stay. Well, okay, it doesn't really matter. So I would have preferred the owl to stay. Let the pain speak to me. That's actually not bad on this board. I can hit this, freeze this, animal companion, imp master, but hover would be disastrous? No, not really, I could run it into that. And freeze this instead, okay, so let's see. To my side. There's hover, okay. Well, this means that an imp will take care of this next turn. Oh, yeah, probably. I have no In case of Consecration, I still have a 1-2 Imp Master. Against his 3 mana. Imester and Stormwind Champion is also nice, and these two. Uh, can make this a four attack imp, these two next turn. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Reporting for duty. <laughs> oh man, I would love to play the Matter Bomber on this board. Uh, it would kill my Imester probably. So, where are my good trades here? Uh, does Storm and Champion help? I wonder. I mean, Huffer dies to everything, so that's not really the point right now. <laughs> Saving it with like double Dark Iron into this, then I have to run this into that or deal four damage face. I mean, I have six, eight, maybe eleven. That's by far not enough. Um, Stone my champion, hit, hit, hit. Hmm. Well, it gives more imps. And, an, and I have a 6-6 six, six before. I guess that's fine. Could run everything into everything and play bomber, but uh, that's not quite it. And I get 2-2 two, two imps. That's kind of good also. Wow, this play actually made me super vulnerable to Consecration. Huh? Okay. Uh, okay. Since I can do the same move on my side, it's kinda okay. 
question is, do you prefer the animal companion? Like, Leok would be awesome. Um, Dark Iron means I need both of them to run this into that, and then, hmm. Okay, let's see what we get. That's better, I guess. Hmm. Not really, though. Well, I'm personally bored, but... Well, I need to kill off my master now. That's the sad part. Otherwise, he gets a free kill here. But it decreases my vulnerable... Vulnerability. <laughs> What's this word? Well, um, to Consecration at least. But he didn't play it, so he won't have it. Oh, my God. Okay, I actually made it worse. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Oh, Just killed my beast after I... Uh, uh. Still have a few beasts here. But I think I played all my animal companions, wow. Okay, so I think he didn't play spare part that he got from my... No, from his mechanical yeti. Um, I'll just play bomber and dwarf. Wow, didn't hit my dwarf, but... And hit this once. Okay. Overall, pretty good result from the bomber, but... Wouldn't have mattered if this would have been hit twice. I mean, would have still died to these two. Reporting for duty. My shield for Argon. Okay. Well, now I would have liked this to be hit twice. But, uh. Oh shit. I just go and went face. Um, <sighs> okay, I guess I can do explosive shot, hit, hit, Houndmaster. Then I'm up against these two cards. Um, if I explosive shot this, I then I need to run both dwarves into this, and he still has a 2 1. If I explosive shot this. I cannot even clear something then. So I need to explosive shot this. And hit hit. Yep. I mean he's pretty low on life too, so um We got that going. And I still have Arjun Commander and Stonewind Champion and Deadly Shot. Ah Deadly Shot is Oh shit. Second one of these. Well, at least he was forced to play it defensively two times. So, he has this one card that he kept and didn't play this turn, and I think the one before. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so, I could kill this, but that's way too expensive. Mm -hmm. well, I think I just unleash... Well, does it really matter? If I unleash the Hound, um, puts him down to one instead of two. I might actually want to save it. It doesn't accomplish anything. So he either has seven damage in his hand, or a taunt, or a heal. Or I win next turn anyways. No, taunt doesn't do anything. It's to heal. Or to kill me. The victory Oh, it's close. Well okay. I'll make a short break. Be right back. Well. Let's continue then. Hmm. Yeah, I think the game went pretty well. Rex 
Mufasa versus Gerash. Although I couldn't play my four drops, which made it more close than it had to be. Hmm. Yeah. I want to search for something more early. Didn't find it though, <laughs> Tiger. It's almost the same hand again. Um. I think I'll just play two or three four then. Maybe oh, kind of the Yeti. Mm. So three and two out of three animal companions are good. Uh, the brewmaster just dies to this, but he played it as a two drop, so I'll. Just... I don't have enough mana. I could wait one turn and coin out a four play another four but I think that might set me too much behind me, and he like I said he didn't play it on one he just top decked it on two so it's like like trading a two drop kind of I think I want my Yeti against this although animal companion Leok is pretty bad Worst case happening is Arati Weaponsmith. Which means he trades the Weaponsmith into my Yeti and the weapon. Um, if I do this, Huffer, I have to trade. Leog just stays around, does nothing. Um, Misha would be the preferred outcome. Uh, I think Yeti. I have to get rid of this ASAP. And if I get Leok, then it gets better with a board, of course. I also have something to play on the next turn. Like, if he plays his own Yeti now, then... Hmm. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. Charging in Hoyatron, that's nice. Oh. Oh, Execute, okay. Well, Huffer gets even worse now. I think Gnomish is okay. Given that I have two possible follow-up plays. Oh, more animal companions. Oh boy. That's almost insane. Did he build a Warsong Commander deck? That's why I wanted to get rid of it fast, but... Seems like I can't. Um, Thing Matter Bomber is better. Because if I just play the Tiger... What do I do the next turn then? I play two Animal Companions, hope for a Huffer and hit hit. This might actually be my best bet right now. Um, mm -hmm. Bomber probably might kill this one. Probably doesn't kill any of the others. Um, I take at least 6 damage next turn. Uh, it will be hard to recover, but I have the card advantage, so... I hope for a Huffer, I guess. And then I can play the Stormwind Champion into... Hopefully a board that I still have then. Oh. And I can taunt up the Tiger, for example. Huh. Oh, we'll see. Okay, at least it's not a ch well. At least it's not a charger, but a Vika is also quite annoying. I kind of want to freeze this, which means if I do that, uh, I can't play two companions, um, and I'm super low at the moment. I wonder. If I freeze this, do I want to play Matter Bomber? I think so. Okay. Did someone say 
Didn't hit the Neutron once. Yay. Okay, so now the straight's here. Wow. Thanks, Bomber. I probably use. This, uh, this Warstone Commander was around for way too long. What now? Well, two cards. Huh. Kinda okay. At least he wasn't damaged so far. Wow. Shit. Weapon was what I didn't want to see. Hmm. And it didn't trigger, of course. So I can easily kill that, and I have to pull Hopper again. I don't really see how I will recover here. I mean, that's three, that's seven. Okay, okay that's Hopper. Goes into there, I guess? Like, I could hit here. Roll a... S no, I can Taunt a second companion. Never mind. <sighs> to my side. Oh. It's probably the best combination of companions that I could have gotten. So now I have to hope that his wormal doesn't hit. Yeah. So that it hit my face. Trigger! Yes. Okay. So far the RNG seems on my side, but it's still pretty dire position. Uh, no. Back to work. At least this thing is dead now. Death does not scare me! Charging Death Lord. Gets better and better. I think I would have sacrificed, like, faded these two, but... Well... I can taunt up my high main, which keeps five damage away. But, uh, no, he... I got rid of his charger, guys. And I have two Dark Irons and a Stormwind to make the Hyenas work somehow. So this might actually, might actually do something, and might give me a free minion next turn. I'm not dead yet, and I still have the Earth Ring Parsia. And oh my god, I'm dead. <laughs> this wasn't command. It was just uh, plus the Annoyatron to protect it too powerful. If I would have gotten an Unleash or something, um, might have been better. But the way that I had my cards ready was not suitable for this situation. Him having an Execute for the Yeti also didn't help. <laughs> I wonder if it would have been different if I would have played an animal companion, but probably not. Rexa versus Gul'dan. Your soul shall be mine. Let the hunt begin. Hmm. This is some somewhat awesome. Like I can play the web spinner on one, then play the glyphs. Ah, uh, well, I go second. Okay, I don't keep the dark eye and then. I of course keep these two, but it might not work if he like plays any one drop now. Do you need a blessing? This, for example. Oh well, he won't trade. But if he played a flame imp, yep. it's 
still a pretty good opening because this threatens this and I can play the ooze into a safe environment. Please do not train. Well, why should he, right? This makes it a little bit better for me now. A little bit better. It'll take a bunch of damage from this, though. So the cleric actually did some work. Mm -hmm. hmm. I have to get rid of it, and... I think I also want to play around Mortal Coil. I'm pro Cobra. Not bad to play on three. Wasn't as good as I hoped it would be. Um, that's why I got rid of the Dark Iron Dwarf. Don't mess with because us. of this risk. <laughs> that's pretty good though. Well, it clears two and a half cards, and I don't have to use my Glevzuka. Is this better than just playing the Cobra? Cobra dies to this. Let's hurt to do the Hounds. Um, I could coin out Tiger into Houndmaster next turn, which I should try to set up, I guess. Yeah, like, why not? Still playing around mode, well. At six, this will be a seven seven, so Ugh. Ugh. also try Cobra Ooze against these. Probably better. And then I have Tiger next turn. And then Commander or Houndmaster. It's a little bit more flexible. Well the Cobra is better played later though, but having the big guy against these two small guys doesn't help anyways. Uh, it's it's kinda tricky. Uh, I'll just make the tempo play here. I don't get much value from the tiger anyways then. <laughs> Given my follow-up plays, I think it's better to... Get rid of the board now. It's, if he can... He can probably just trigger it once. He either taps or... Um, plays Dread Infernal. So that's a 6-6. Six, six. I have a 7-7 seven, seven taunt against this. Do I have to? It's a 6-7, that's okay. And a noose, okay. So we'll get rid of the taunt. Guess that's okay. Given my health total, I don't want to take any more damage. A little bit sad that nothing lines up and kills this instead of uh, like except the Houndmaster. Mm -hmm. oh. So now I really hope that he doesn't have more coil. Or Dread Infernal. Both would be terrible right now. Okay, if he has to make this trade, it's very good for me. And nothing more, so this wasn't too scary at all. Um, probably Inventor because it's more mana efficient. And then Companion. Oh, uh, Mad Bomber. Still has a chance to kill Imps, but 
for for the rescue. So next turn I might have ten damage, twelve even. I can silence the health buff away if it gets too annoying. Um, master again. So that's a six four. What do you play with it? That bomber kills my huffer probably. <laughs> um, Almaster go face? Would be six, eight, ten. Puts him down to nine. And he clears here. Almaster all face. Given that I have the Archer Commander, I think that's a good way of doing it. If he clears my board, I have 6 damage. And it's not easy to clear the board from here without him taking damage. Say a Hellfire or something. That's why I silenced that. Alright. Seems like my guys stay around. I would count this as staying around. That's seven. No, that's six. That's eight. To no friend! Victory! Turns out the Cobra Ooze play was far superior than the coin Tiger play, turn 5. Because it forced him to use the 3 2 to also clear, and I could use it to clear his floating watcher. I think going first, I definitely throw these two back. The question is do I keep animal companion? I think the answer is no. I don't have too many one and two drops to consistently draw to them. Even if I throw back my three drop. And I can just get more three drop. So, uh, I really hope that I pick up a two. If you like coin. Okay. Well, now I definitely hope for a mad bomber. No? Okay. Oh, well, that's really sad. But At least the master can trade with this, so... I hope he doesn't play something too scary. Mm, that's not too scary. I think is pretty good on this board right now. Doesn't have an obvious way to kill it. Might have backstabs and cold blood, stuff like that. At least for now, it seems kind of safe. I'll never tell. Interesting. Well, I have no secrets, and you probably won't. Ah, well, I have. I have one secret, right? I haven't seen the snipe in oh. <laughs> in all the games so far, but there it is, of course. I should probably play it, right? Uh, stupid. So, probably Yeti over Hounds. Um, with Hounds I could kill these two. But I have a bunch of 1-1s one then. This, these cards might imply that he has Cold Blood though, in his deck at least. Well, I, I guess I'll make the obvious play. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, Fan at least consumes a lot of mana. So that's kind of fine. What do you do this turn then? Animal companion snipe? Next turn is high main. That's given. So I think it's animal companion snipe. To my side. Uh, this is so much wasted damage on this stupid thing. But okay. That leg shot is super useless right now, but hounds get better. Oh boy. Really? Kazan Mystic? Wow. Well, at least I know what it is. But... Wow. <coughs> it also kills my Yeti. This is so awkward. Um. Dope for another Leog. I could also go for a 50 50 deadly shot. Uh, no, wait, if I unleash Hounds, this takes 4 damage, and if I get Leog, it will be super awesome. And if I get anything else, I can just kill it with Hounds. Okay. To my side. Like a low budget kill command. But I got a minion on the board that didn't die to the to my own snipe. You can still see it, right? Yeah. I think I've never had a secret stolen by Kazan Mystic so far. To Northrend. Uh, this line up too well for my taste. Um I can deal 7 9 to his face right now. This thing is surprisingly annoying with my Dalek shot. I, I think I'll just play my 6 1 high main. I can't do that. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Let's trigger it faster now that it was stolen, right? Interesting. Um, I mean, I have 14 damage now with Dorf, Board, and Shoot. Actually, I might also hit the egg and kill the thing with Deadly Shot or something. So Didn't think about this so far. Options. It's just a 4 4 and. Doesn't have use for him so far. But being able to deadly shot one of the other creatures would have helped. <laughs> On the other hand, if this was the 3 2, it would have killed something. I guess it's good that way. Oh. Oh, God. So here's the the tempo. Well, that's six. <laughs> I could just deadly shot it, but still just a four four. Um, I could put him down to five. He kills one of the doors, goes down to. Uh, I can play can't play reversing switch with it. Would be fun. Where I get a two six afterwards. I think I just go for the double dwarf. Hmm. Could also draw a card and kill this. You might have a flurry. Flurry is like worst case scenario right now. But even then, I kill him in three turns. So you would have to act fast. Which might be possible with five cards plus two spare parts. I think it's two. One from the Clockwork Gnome from his side, and one of my mm. mechanical Eddie. 
But he can't clear. Okay, he doesn't have the flurry. Good. Okay. Does he have a heal bot? Harvest. Pay attention, class. I am ready. He just does random things. I should. It was so fast with uh, quests. <laughs> he was so fast with putting down, like with holding the top deck card that I actually thought it would be an anti kill bot. Bring victory. Let the hunt begin. I go first, and I don't have enough two drops to throw this away. Okay, let's see what he does. Lefzuko with Imp Master is also not bad, but I think I want to play the Yeti on 4. Because it's just... It's just oh, Corridor looks nice. I haven't seen it. Like this close. Hmm. Oh. Um, uh, Yeti is... Or is nice. Uh, I don't know. I could just play Glefzuka, but he then then he coins out a three. Like I don't know, harvest column. I play the Imp Master. That's uh, the more secure play, I guess. I can protect my master this way, which is kind of good. Hmm. Well, this was a pretty good play against my sniper. I have to admit, at least it... Like, it left something behind. Most 2 and 3... I think there is basically no 2 or 3 drop that survives a snipe. Well, Ways of Enhanto would have left something behind, but it's the same plus coin, so... I think that was, was one of the best cards he could have played there. Your magic shall not Aww. save you. Why is he so mean? Anduin, you're mean to say that. Um, nonetheless, I have the Dark Iron Dwarf, which is pretty, pretty good right now. And it can even kill a Yeti next turn with Glefsuka. And I have the Ooze. And I don't have to save the Ooze because I have the only weapon in my deck in my hand. Which is kind of good because I can't be, it can't be Thought Steel. So I don't have to hold on to the Ooze for a possible Thought Steel weapon thing. Well, that's mean. Again. This guy is just mean. Uh, I think I go for the... Three, two, then. Yep. Okay, and this probably dies. Well, all my. Hmm. I have to trade, I guess. Holy Nova is too bad next turn. Can trade here, Holy Nova. Clears my board, has a random two drop. 
This way I can do it this way. I'd put this into Shadow of Death range, but I have a few good Shadow of Death targets in the deck, so... I guess I'm kind of happy if he hits this one. Death does not scare me! Seven damage. I can taste the mana. That's annoying. Might be a holy nova setup. Wow. Can't really do something about it, it seems like. Um I think I don't want to play the ooze. That's basically all I have to say. Right uh, do you even want to hit this? I guess I will. If he plays Holy Nova, he can clear my board and still has this Death Lord around. I think it. Uh, well. Depends a lot on his cards. If he can make the mana edit th this work this well, it's pretty awesome. Circle? Don't circle me. That's almost as bad. In the light's name. Where am I? Beasts. <laughs> wow. Shit. <laughs> Matter Bomber. Okay. Let's trust in the bomber. Did someone say bomb? That's good. Here, 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 here. Oh, <laughs> would have liked to see a few bumps from this one. Like, one more here or here would have been so awesome. Well, I think he doesn't have a holding hover. He would have played it the last turn. So I'm just killing this one. I'm a champion with this board. Pretty good. Uh. My eyes uh. are open. My own earth. Okay. Well, I'm not too unhappy about him wasting a card for this move, I guess. Uh, I kind of want to develop the tiger. Hunt Master next turn, but I also want to draw a card because I'm probably up to clearing the whole board here. Oh boy! First time synergy here. Um, just doesn't really do anything. <laughs> because I tried here, here, here to get rid of his board. If I play this, I can trade here, but I still have to trade these two. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, might matter because of uh, spare part. Maybe get reversing switch. I don't know. Time rewinder. Does this change anything? Not really. I can draw one one more card next turn. What this? No, uh, no, I can't because I want to play the tiger. Uh, it's not easy. Let's see what companion we roll. To my Misha. I think Tiger is the safer version of doing it now. Other than just town mastering the Misha. Uh-huh, okay. 
I guess the time rewinder could help. Overall. Gurubashi. Okay. So I could. Can I make these survive? I wonder. Can Huntmaster this hit here? Huntmaster this. Hit there. Trade this in. Hit here. And then I have a bar that is pretty much dead to Holy Nova. Um, other, other option is making this here. And this is dead. Uh, this doesn't die to Holy Nova then, and this is still on the board, but I guess it's fine. He didn't play it so far, so I guess I can just do it. Awesome. If he plays Holy Nova, I still have a 4-1 on the board. And a 5-5 stealth upcoming. To North Red. Let the pain speak to this is a lot less scary. This is 10, 13, 15, 20. I think I want to deny him the card. That should be it now. Only thing that can rescue him is light bomb, I think. You have better. Well 